Hey guys, this is Eddie Bricks, and today I'll be showing you a big update on my LEGO City, not a mini update like last time, because there's a lot of stuff going on, and stuff in the city, in the sci-fi city, and in the fake LEGO war right here. So first, I'm going to start off in the city, because over here we do have these two uh, people bringing away the fake Lego house and or two big figs and then we have my new board game store this will probably have its own video but I figured I could show you a little sneak peek of it and it's not finished doesn't have a roof but almost finished and so now I'll be showing you the fake Lego War here. So as you can see, there are some Jawas collecting items here. And we have blue guys, or the advanced defense units cleaning it up. And we also have them fixing the spaceship and we have this droid who is flying in you can see he's got a little bit of uh, clear pieces under him flying in to you know fight these guys over here and we also got this trail of this trail of fire here, which is from this speeder, which this guy rode in with his uh, flamethrower. <laughs> that scene was made by Luke's Legos, and here we have a guy putting out the fire as well, and got a little tent over here, but we also have our house. And we got a lot of troopers scattered around, some protecting the door. And uh, Knight of Cleaver there. And uh, that's the roof. But inside is what matters here. As you can see, this guy is the, uh, one of the leaders of the advanced defense units, as with that guy right there. And we also have this, this is the news source. And what happened is there was someone was trying to attack the advanced defense unit's leader, but actually they misheard the, the, um, the message and they, accident, they shot this guy instead because they were like, oh yeah, it's the guy with the lighter hair. But there's, you know, two guys. So this guy was the one that was in charge of this place. So now, the advanced defense units will have... will be able to take over the whole place, since there's no one owning it. And we have here a little scene where there... one of the rebels, Black Arrow, and we have this guy riding in them attacking Magneto and then there is also over here is the Jawas and they fixed up this advanced defense unit vehicle but this guy still wants it and we have them <laughs> we have their just load of weapons here and stuff that they got these guys are the workers and you know the people in the sci-fi city, they don't really, really like the, the advanced defense units coming in here, but the workers, they don't mind. So we have them taking out all that fluff from Lotso, and they're also taking this gravel and 
putting it under here. As you can see, that's a whole new section under there. So this was the spot I said that I would, you know, blow open, kind of. <laughs> or there was a guy that was going to blow it open. As you can see, it's just huge under place, underworld area. It's a bunch of gravel with uh, stud shooter pieces. And we have some of those fish creatures from the Atlanta set in there. And then we also have some halflings here. And some sewer babies. And um, this is so big, I think. Uh, yeah, so big I can fit my hand through it. And then over here, we have a bear cave made by Luke's Legos. Pretty awesome creation here. And as you can see, he's getting a honeycomb there. And there's a little spot where you can fit the bear in. Maybe I can... Under there, you might be able to see. But... And then there's also some some Venom symbiote that's going on Hulk as he's attacking this dragon. It's covered his hand and made it black. And uh, these guys are taking the gravel from there and putting it over into this section under here. As you can see, they're also working on this place. They've got a little blocker here so the people don't come in. This is going to be like a restaurant. So a lot of work is going on in this. We have uh, you know, two ordinary uh, construction workers passing up the gravel there. And so that, that gravel right there was going under here so that they can you know build more houses like that one over there which i think is a pretty awesome house we got some <laughs> flowers in front as well and a, little, a, um, a couch that was based off one that brook building machine made and then over here in the sci-fi city cluttered by a bunch of guys, <laughs> call it the Guy City. We also have a fake Lego hideout, which will probably be, or not really hideout, just base for now, protected by some guys that will probably be raided soon. <laughs> and then we have this guy, the king of wrestling. Who can challenge him in the arena? <laughs> but we also have, you know, but we do have <laughs> some people who, you know, could beat him up. These two big figs. We have uh, Call Obsidian, but um, in this uh, universe, he's actually Maddox. The one guy, and he drank a potion, and then he turned into a giant person. Because, you know, Maddox also has this uh, shoulder pad. And then this is a fake Thanos. No arm. This guy's a pretty cool guy I made. <laughs> Got the calculator body, some glitter stud, and uh, ice face. And then we have a little drink droid made by Luke's Legos holding up the Holding up the drinks. And we have our whole Rodian crew over here. <laughs> All the different Rodians. Greedo, and then, <laughs> and then the gang. And we have this Iron Man guy. Fake, fake Iron Man. That's attacking this guy down there. And in the holograms over here for the Rebels, 
this guy isn't doing too good. As you can see, there's a little blast coming from his hands. You know, maybe the base is exploding. So, so they're losing some of their forces due to the ADU. And then we have, oh yeah, over here. Everyone is pointing their guns at the advanced defense unit trooper. He's totally outnumbered. You know, over here, they may not be outnumbered, but in here, they're definitely outnumbered if they just come in with one guy. And then we have this gorilla over here providing cover for these fake Legos. We've got a couple more scenes. And this guy coming in. And a lot of guys. And you might have saw this, or you might have not saw this, but there's a little fence around the gravel area as well, as well so not all the muck gets out. <laughs> and over here in the fake Lego area, we have this, which is sucking out all this stuff so that there can be more houses. Just like they're cleaning up this area over here as well. So soon this will be, you know, kind of sci-fi houses over here. Because over here, not many houses, just guys. But this area, once the advanced defense units conquer it, will have a lot more houses and perhaps have stacks. Like the ones in um, Ready Player One. If you saw that movie, so they're basically RVs stack on, on stacked on each other. So, it, and I have a lot of RVs, a bunch from sets, and one that was made by a friend. And I almost forgot one of my favorite scenes. Here we have a person handing over Red Onslaught's sword. Or some people call him Redhead as well. As you can see, he <laughs> he has a red head, and it's a fake Lego head. You know, he he was saved by other fake Legos, and he got a cybernetic body. And so that was his weapon that he lost, and that's why he has a gun over there. And you see this guy. He's got that that type of body. Kind of a clean up crew body. He's cleaning up that sword. <laughs> Getting rid of it. Moving it away. That pretty much concludes it, but there was a little thing I wanted to show you under here. Was other fake Legos hiding under the fake Lego shelter. And there was also this cool guy I made. <laughs> He's got a little... This was a Bosque uniform, uniform, but... So, you know. And that looks like a perfect face to go with those spiky feet. So that's pretty much it. This is the far out view. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time.